can we talk about, I mean, you, you know, we, we look at like Australia putting people in camps. They try to escape. They get tracked down by security guards if they're unvaccinated or if they believe that they have COVID. Of course, China outdoes them all. And there's this northwest, a northwestern city. Is it Xi'an? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Xi'an. Xi'an. Okay, thank you. And um, why don't you tell us what's happening there and what they are doing to the Chinese in that city? Yeah, Lagan. Well, to be sure, you know, uh, having ridiculously overbearing and overcontrolling uh, anti-COVID policies is not the the sole uh, domain of autocracies. As you just pointed out, there are a lot of countries in the Western world that are doing things that don't make any sense, either politically or scientifically, uh, including in this country, to be sure. But in China, the fact that this is being done by the Chinese Communist Party, which is just, you know, uh, the the most shining example of uh, sort of uh, nationalist, socialist, repressive, oppressive uh, uh, criminal gang that's operating a, a police state and that is uh, systematically surveilling and monitoring uh, everyone's actions and thoughts in order to ding them with a social credit score every time they get out of line or say anything that doesn't redound to the party's benefit. When you add that to the mix, it becomes a- incredibly cruel and incredibly uh, uh, horrifying. And what's going on in Xi'an now is because, you know, in China, they have the zero COVID policy, which is uh, ridiculous, especially at this stage, you know, when you right. think about it. So every time they have a, a case or a bunch of cases, uh, they subject millions of people to ho- ho- horrendous conditions. And, uh, you know, and and of course, these people are in a panic, but there's nothing they can do about it. And, you know, we had that like one story here. Uh, you remember where like, oh, they're, oh, can people get into the hospitals and the gunshot wounds? And it turned out to be a uh, a, a bad story and everyone yeah. got you know got, you know got mad on twitter for two days but think about in china where actually it's true that people are locked down to the point where they don't have food and uh women are having miscarriages because they can't be admitted to the hospital unless they have a negative covid test and you know that's the that's not to say again that you know we, we've done everything right but it's to say that when you add that kind of system that kind of oppression to to this kind of authoritarian behavior that we're seeing here, uh, it's really, really ugly. And that just shows you the extreme, extreme example of some of the things that we're seeing in our own societies. There was an article, um, it was from CNN talking about exactly what's happening there, where they have, this is the, this lockdown in Cheyenne is of 13 million residents, strictest and largest since Wuhan, which sealed off 11 million people in early 2020. Um, so they originally told folks that don't worry, you're going to be able to um, get food supplies. The, the food supplies are abundant, no need for panic. The first few days of the lockdown, each household was allowed to send one designated person out to buy groceries every two days. But as the cases continue to rise, uh, they further tightened the lockdown measures requiring all residents to stay at home unless permitted to go outside for mass testing. Well, how are you supposed to get food? Mass testing doesn't give you food. On Friday, footage emerged on Weibo, which is like their big social search engine, um, of a man being beaten by COVID prevention workers at the gates of a residential compound when he tried to enter with a bag of steamed buns. The video, which immediately immediately went viral, showed the buns scattered on the ground as the man fumbled people traveling 60 plus miles to try to get food and so like this is nuts and 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 what are we doing we're like yay olympics so much fun don't worry we won't send any diplomatic officials but yay china